Derek, in talking to Phil just now, did he give you any indication on where he's leaning in terms of coming back next season? I don't know if I want to say that. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't know. You can share. We're friends. I, I mean, I think it's, you know, it's for him to say. Um, I mean, but we, we did talk about the future, you know, so I, I mean, as far as <laughs> I didn't get the feeling leaving that he wasn't going to be my coach next season. But, um, you know, as you guys know, as well as I've learned, that <laughs> it's because that's the card that he's showing you. It doesn't necessarily mean that that's the one he's going to play. Um, but, you know, for all intents and purposes, I, you know, I could be wrong, but I, I just think that we, we have a, a collection of players, and I think with, uh, you know, the veteran leadership of Kobe and myself, I, I think that he can feel good about, you know, the, the ability to coach and manage his team. Uh, I think he sees Kobe and myself as extensions of him, and that all the work is not just on him to try to, you know, continue to help this team mature and grow in the way that we need to. Derek, a lot of, a lot of people haven't talked really about Mitch at all in this whole process. And yeah. you, you mentioned the, the co composition of the team with the young guys and some of the veterans and stuff. Can you just, you know, ex sort of talk about how Mitch put this team together and how much of it's based on, you know, personalities, how the people play together, how it all worked out? Because he didn't get all that much credit in any of this. Yeah, no, I'm, I think I mentioned it last year during the, during the finals or maybe right before they started that, uh, you know, Mitch – deserved even last year, you know, after the season started the way it did and, you know, the way he just kind of remained patient and, you know, took a lot of heat for not doing anything right. and, uh, you know, to make it to the NBA Finals last season and have a chance to win a championship, I felt like he deserved to be, you know, in the executive of the year uh, mm -hmm. consideration even last year and, uh, you know, obviously with what we've accomplished this year, mm -hmm. you know, there's no reason why. You know, he shouldn't be considered as one of the, the top general managers in, in basketball right now because he's I think he's built the team uh, on more than just talent. You know, I think a lot of teams continue to draft guys and bring guys in uh, through free agency or other routes that are specifically based on talent and their ability to do certain things on the floor. And uh, I, I think that Mitch has a sense for uh, placing value on some of the intangible things that guys are capable of bringing to the table, and uh, you know he, he deserves a, a lot more credit than he than he receives. But you know when you're when Phil Jackson is the coach and Kobe Bryant is <laughs> is a player on the team, it's only so much credit to go around. And you know we learn that as players, and I'm sure Phil's <laughs> assistant coaches who never get any credit, you know, <laughs> I mean they they do a lot of work as well, uh, and have been a big part of you know his ten championships. You know, it just kind of comes with the, 